suppose. Back of the car, getting a little wriggly and out of shape. On such a oh! long, too much! On such a long lap, you need the rear to be a little loose to help steer the front and preserve the tires, but he got offline. He was saying after free practice this morning, what did it feel like to complete a lap here for the first time? He said, well, when I got to the start finish line, I'm sure I breathed then. Because the first time out, really tricky. Well, it's let's very take odd. a look. look. He's run wide here already, Martin. Yep. Comes on. He's breaking and turning in. It no looks steering. all ah. There's no. <laughs> Dirt on the left hand side tyres? Possibly. Did, did he pick up a puncture on the kerb? This is through Brunchen. So he He's comes fine off. here. He should be going over to hard to the right hand side. Yeah, something. Uh, uh, has he hooked coming back on? the inside wheel and either broken something or done some damage because yeah. he was on the kerb coming out of Brunchen for slightly... Now, that's an uphill section, and yes, you're going quickly there, but that's a very odd accident, very odd accident to have. That would suggest to me that maybe there was something wrong with the car. Well, the car made no effort to veer away from the straight ahead. How long is this circuit? I'll tell you how long this circuit is. Yellow flags, flags are out at turn 53. <laughs> You know, Spa has 15 corners, and we think of Spa as being quite a long lap. This is an entirely different kettle of fish. And for Jan Elache, I'm afraid, that is the end of free practice. And for the boys at the Lada team, RC Motorsport are going to have a bit of work to do. Um, and he's not coming back from there without assistance. Now, no, no. See, he's talking on the radio now. He's shaking to, his head, saying, I've got no clue what happened there. No. No clue at all. We saw in replay that the, the wheel that we could see, the front wheel we could see, was going straight ahead, were disconnected from the rack for whatever reason. And again, look, still here, the front straight. wheel is still straight ahead. So either the rack is locked under... See, he's on the curb too long. He's come up He's not there. turning. It's not no, he's turning. Breaking. He's it's breaking. not turning. It's not turning. And I think it... I th see, you would be trying to turn the wheel. You saw, you saw the front of the car dip. See, he's, he, he sort of came off the curb, but then, as you say, yeah. it just didn't go any further. Yeah. That's an odd one, that, Macy, Martin. When he was exiting the corner, he was fine, but mm. it didn't turn right. Yeah, so he's jagged his ankle as well. It's been whacked on the pedals. Well, yeah. It is a track that has the potential to bite. So there, there is Jan Elache, and those are the boys from RC Racing. So didn't didn't get a lap completed, and that has not rung his bell. He'd, but he'd uh, done the fastest sector yeah. two of anybody there's just Uncle before, Ivan. so he was doing a good job. Yeah. So medical crews are with him, and of course there are so many support crew vehicles here. Uh, fast response vehicles, medical vehicles, snatch tractors, trucks, four-wheel drives. Just hundreds and hundreds of personnel here. So this is coming into Brunchen. Yeah. So this is the, the ambulance coming. This is standard operational procedure. They're going to want to have a look. He was really good down the hill there and turned in, used the curbs on the exit. There was nothing wrong with that at all, Martin. No. Nothing. And then he started to make the... Let, that's not a tough turn. That isn't a tough turn. Now, he'd done the hard bit. Yes, absolutely. He'd done the hard bit. He'd carried the speed through Brunchen. He was over the kerbs. He was ready to come back on and look to the right-hand side. And the car made no attempt to get there. What we can't see, of course, is the, the left-hand side of the car, which I suspect is the side that would give us more clue. Now, you might be wondering why we haven't red flagged this or put out a safety car. It's because this track is so long and all of the drivers will have been told exactly where the issue is and if you look at the top left hand side of the picture you'll see another car sitting there and the way the incidents are dealt with here on the Nürburgring Nordschleife are different from anywhere else in the world and the respect that drivers show, need to show and in fairness 99% of the time do show to yellow flags and to the marshals is different from anywhere else in the world. Had a conversation with a racing driver who I will not name um, at Spa, at the classic meeting on Sunday, a very well-respected multiple Le Mans win winner, who we were talking about this very thing, and he said we wouldn't have to worry about code 60s and slow zones if the drivers respected which...